Well, it's definitely not the 4th of July when you're watching this video. When I'm recording it, it is the morning of the 4th of July, 2024. And I figured what better way to celebrate Independence Day in the United States but to drink a Belgian-style beer. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be drinking Saison de Lee by Perennial Artisan Ales out of St. Louis, Missouri. 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 Uh, Missouri. This is a Saison, so it's a Belgian style. Um, it is, it has a chamomile flowers involved in the brewing process, which is quite interesting. Um, this is another beer that I picked up from Pack Mule recently, another of their selection of Saisons, and um, it spoke to me. <laughs> um, and I think that illustrates the, um, not the speaking to me, but the Pack Mule having a St. Louis beer. Uh, Brian with Pack Mule has connections with breweries and tap rooms and, and various uh, beer contacts all over the Northwest. Um, and those also have contacts with other breweries. And so he was able to get this particular beer from St. Louis via it having been um, acquired in some beer trade or beer exchange by a local brewery, lo local tap room. Um, and let's uh, dive into the beer. Uh. So it does have that that kind of sparkly, effervescent, uh, kind of Saison uh, nose. Like it, it, it smells uh, bright and and uh, energetic. Not like energy drink energetic, like there's energy in the beer. Which, what does that smell like? I suppose a touch of citrus, some floral and herbal notes. Not really sweet, but definitely... Um, uh, bright, vibrant. I don't remember too much about what chamomile tastes like or smells like uh, specifically. It has been a while since I've had chamomile tea. Yeah, it's just been a while, so I'm not gonna say I can identify that, but there is a, a particular form to the herbal notes, a particular uh, commonness that I'm wondering is if it's part of the, or if that's the, the chamomile. There's also a real nice pepperiness to it, which reminds me of the Sophie by Goose Island, which was, I don't believe I ever did Sophie on this channel, but I did um, five or six bottles of Sophie, and I did like an annual vertical, so I bought them all from the same year, and I drank them one year apart and took notes, and it had a really delicious, like they were really white pepper, um, kind of peach notes to that beer, and this has a similar pepperiness. Hmm, it smells good. It smells really good. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay. Um, it tastes like it smells, but with a wheat finish. Right? So it has this herbal, floral note to it. It has a, just a, a vibrancy to it. Um, maybe perhaps some lemon peel. A real nice yeasty funkiness. But also some unique characteristics. This is, I'm not going to say it's unlike any Saison I've tried before. It's definitely in the family of Saison. But it is, it has its stand apart points, right? It has its unique aspects that set it apart that make it its own thing. I am guessing that that is the chamomile. And if so, it's very nicely in, in, employed. It, it brings out this um, kind of, it adds a direction, a form to the herbal uh, notes. There's also a, a kind of sharp hop bitterness that comes probably three quarters of the way through. That kind of serves as a counterpoint and maybe ground the, the the beer. It's not a sappy, like sap, not not soft and 
and romantic, but a, a sap-like, um, you know, pine tree kind of thing. It's not that's not a resinous flavor. It's more of a an earthy hop, and and it kind of builds some kind of a, a structure, a foundation, something more weighty to the beer, which is an interesting an interesting aspect. That pepperiness is really nice too. This is a nice beer. So this is very much to the floral and herbal side of of the beers. Um, there is there is the kind of the, that that hop that that kind of earthy hop foundation that comes in later. There is the funkiness of the yeasts. There is this kind of lemon peel um, kind of sharpness. There's very little. Uh, it, it's not a particularly tart saison. Um, so I'm wondering if, you know, aging would, would dry it out some, but I don't know if it needs to be aged. The, the flavors are very like, like fresh flowers, like you're in a field of flowers kind of. And, and so it's that bright and vibrant and verdant, well, not necessarily green, so not verdant, but, um, yeah, field of flowers. Yeah. Just that. And, and so I'm not sure that drying that out is going to be necessarily, I mean, I'm not going to say it's going to be bad, but I like it how it is right now. There's some real decent complexity to that with the nice layers. And then there's this really good cracker to wheat finish that, that is kind of the middle and then, and then the end. That's really nice. I like that. I like this quite a lot. This is a tasty beer. Very tasty beer. It says store cold, drink fresh, contains wheat. Yeah, so they intend it to be to not be aged. They intend it to be drunk soon, and uh, so I'm drinking it soon. I wonder what the date is. It doesn't have the date on the can that I can see, but eh. oh well. I'm drinking it as fresh as I can. <laughs> kind of a pretty beer too. Not kind of, it is a pretty beer too. Very clear. The head was quite white, real pretty. It's a good beer, I like it. I like it quite a lot. If I see another perennial artisan ale on the shelf sometime, I will definitely consider buying it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Anyways, this is me, Matthew. I have been drinking and definitely enjoying the Saison de Lee a Belgian-style ale brewed with chamomile flowers by Perennial Artisan Ales out of St. Louis, Missouri. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.